Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions. This is standard 4.3e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 39 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Mrs. Bernstein, she's using parts of two identical rolls of paper to wrap packages. And so that's gonna be important. So we've got both of these rolls, they're identical, which means they are the same length and they're cut into the same number of parts. And we just need to figure out what fraction of rolls did Miss Bernstein use to wrap the packages. So she used this on this first roll right here. And we've got this part right here. And then down here on the second row, we've got a shaded fraction as well. So let's take a look. We're gonna switch both of these into fractions. And so our numerator, our top number, is going to be how many shaded pieces there are. So how many parts did she use? So she's got one, two, three, four. Our denominator, our bottom number, is going to be how many total pieces there are? Five, six. So she used four, six of the first row. Let's do the same thing for this bottom roll. One, two, three. And then you've got three out of six. So then the question will be, well, what do we do with our four, six and our three, six? Obviously, three, six shows up as an answer there, but maybe that's it, maybe that's not. We could add them and we could subtract them. Well, if we're using both of them, then if she used this part right here, and she used this part, looks like what we have is we have a part, part, whole. So we can even look at a part, part, whole strip diagram if we really wanted to, to kind of give us a nice picture of what we should be doing here. So for one of the rolls, she used four sixth. For the other, she used three sixth. So my question is how much of the rolls did she use? Well, that lets me know I need to add these two. That's what we're doing here. Let's add four sixth and three sixth. So how do we add four sixth and three sixth? Well, it's easy. Yet yeah, there's a trick in there. So two things you need to remember when you're adding or subtracting fractions. Number one, you need equal denominators. If you don't have equal denom denominators, then you are gonna be in a world of hurt. You're not gonna be able to add or subtract. So you're gonna need to make some type of equivalent fraction change one or both of the fractions. You need to have equal denominators. So you've got a six and a six, we're good here. But then the second part also has to do with the denominators. You don't touch the denominator. So they have to be equal, but then you don't touch them. You don't add them, you don't subtract them. You just simply make sure that they are there. They are the same, and then you leave them alone. So when we add, we add straight across. Four plus three, that makes seven. But six plus six does not make 12. Remember, don't touch the denominators. It's simply six. Now, why is four plus three makes seven, but six plus six equals six? Well, let's take a look at it here with our model. So they've already given us a nice picture. So if I just wanted to combine these onto the same roll, what I could do is I could take this chunk right here, and I'm gonna put that right here. Kind of like what we do with 10 frames and we kind of move different add-ins around. I'm gonna take this second part right here. I'm gonna move it right here. So right now I've got six sixths, but you notice I've got one left. So I've got to bring this one over here and I've got to start my second roll. So what I have here now is one whole roll. Then I've got one sixth left over. Now, I didn't get that when I added. I got seven sixths, but let me show you how you can change your improper fraction to a mixed number. You can always draw a picture if you want to. So seven sixths is the same as one and one sixth. Another way to do it would be to divide up. Take your denominator, divide that up into your numerator. Six goes into seven once. Your remainder becomes your numerator and you don't change the denominator. The denominator always stays the same. So one and seven six is the same as seven six. This second one happens to be an improper fraction. The first one happens to be a mixed number, but they both represent this same quantity, which we drew up here. So that means my answer is going to be D, 1 and 1 sixth.